Good morning, everyone. Let me just adjust my camera a little here. Um, hold on one second. So, I hope that that is coming in nice and clear. There we go. All right, I hope that's coming in nice and clear. So I'm just going to scroll down through here and let you take a look. See what that says right there. See what that says right there. The England is facing blackouts this winter, the grid operator says. Um, deep blue New England is at whatever that means, I've never heard that deep blue New England before. Is at risk of blackouts this winter. New England could face blackouts this winter. New England risks winter blackouts and gas supply shortages. Um, there's a bunch of them. So I'm going to go over here. I've got one selected. This is from the Wall Street Journal. And I hope you can hear me clearly. So I'm facing away from the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. Power producers are preparing for potential strain on the grid this winter as a surge in natural gas demand abroad threatens to reduce supplies they need to generate electricity. New England, which relies on natural gas imports to bridge winter supply gaps, is now competing with European countries for shipments of liquefied natural gas, following Russia's halt of most pipeline gas to the continent. Severe cold spells in the Northeast could reduce the amount of gas available to generate electricity as more of it is burned to heat homes. What's news LNG shipping prices skyrocket as Russia disrupts fuel supplies. 1x. Oops. I don't know why it does that. Sorry about that. Let's go over here. Start there. The region's power grid operator, ISO New England Incorporated, has warned that an extremely cold winter could strain the reliability of the grid and potentially result in the need for rolling blackouts to keep electricity supply and demand in balance. The warning comes as executives and analysts predict power producers could have to pay as much as several times more than last year for gas deliveries if severe weather creates urgent need for spot market purchases. The most challenging aspect of this winter is what's happening around the world and the extreme volatility in the markets, said Vamsi Chadalavada, the grid operator's chief operating officer. If you are in the commercial sector, at what point do you buy fuel? Newsletter sign up. The 10 point. Sorry. A Power producers in New England are limited in their ability to store fuel on site and face challenges in contracting for gas supplies, as most pipeline capacity is reserved by gas utilities serving homes and businesses. Most generators tend to procure only a portion of imports with fixed price agreements and instead rely on the spot market, where gas prices have been volatile, to fill shortfalls. A worker inspected an electricity corridor Anybody who is depending on the spot market for their natural gas supply is probably going to have a pretty significant sticker shock, said Tanya Bedell, a partner at consulting firm Stoneturn who advises energy companies in New England. New England has been grappling with fuel supply challenges for more than a decade because the region has limited pipeline capacity. Imports of LNG can make up more than a third of the region's natural gas supply during periods of peak demand according to the Energy Information Administration. The Jones Act, a law restricting the movement of ships between U.S. ports, makes maritime delivery of domestic supplies nearly impossible, so the region relies on gas produced abroad. Now, intense competition for LNG cargoes driven by European demand makes securing supply ad hoc. Do you hear that part? <laughs> U.S. ports make maritime delivery uh, of domestic supplies nearly impossible, so the region relies on gas produced abroad. It's all lies. You know, all, all of this is lies. 
they're setting the stage plain and simple they're setting the stage for what is we have known is coming and it is coming the question is is that are they going to like that and everything's going to go sideways i don't think so that's not what they've been doing right along it's been a slow boil they're going to continue to slow boil us as they progressively speed up the boil which is what they've been doing right along there may come a point where they they're able to go sideways like that but that's going to be when we're i'm not going to say when we are i'm going to say when people are on their knees begging crying starving freezing so on and so forth a costly proposition this summer the european benchmark price for natural gas topped 100 dollars per million british thermal units gas prices in new england by comparison rarely reach much above 30 dollars said eugene kim a research director blah 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 you guys can read that if you want to it's the wall street journal all you have to really do is type in the uh Type in the top here, wherever it is. This page. Just type in there possible blackouts. Um, rolling blackouts. What I typed in there, because that's what I heard the headline was possible rolling blackouts for New England this winter. Um, you can either type that in or just type in possible rolling blackouts. I'm sure all of it will come up. Um, it did for me. So. I only found one video on YouTube by a small YouTube channel about five days ago. So we know this is coming, but right at the moment, I don't think too many people are aware that they're now pushing it in the news. So take a look. See what you come up with. If you come up with something interesting, share a link. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I know what I think. I, I've been saying it for a while now. I think a lot of us have been saying it. This is the uh, dark winter. Or at least that's what it appears to be. And whether it's this winter or next winter, it's coming. And it's coming fast. And uh, personally, I don't believe it's next winter. Next winter, I believe it is this winter. Because things have progressively sped up go to any store try to buy anything almost anywhere and things have doubled in price the shelves the shelves are scattery you know just the other day I was over at the uh, local grocery store in our area and um, the, pr the produce truck was late I guess it's supposed to come really early in the morning so, so they can stock the shelves before they open the doors and I was talking to the uh, hold on a second I was talking to, I think he was the manager for the department, and uh, he kept saying to me over and over that he's sorry that the truck was late, almost as if he wanted to talk about it. So I, I, there was something I needed lettuce, I think, and it wasn't on the shelf, and I asked him if it was in the back room or something or if it was around because they had it in carts and stuff like that. Uh, that they were putting out. I asked him if he had any lettuce in any of the carts. <clears throat> so he went to the back room and he came back out and he said it again. I said, yeah. I said, I'm not surprised. I said, this is, for me, this is all expected. He said, yeah. He said, me too. He said, and I've been seeing it happen progressively more and more. This is a man that works at the grocery store. So, um, but he wasn't telling me anything I didn't already know. But it was nice to see that there are people seeing this. Not just me. Or not just you. But people you would think that probably aren't seeing it are seeing it. They're just not saying a whole lot. Whether that be because they're afraid, I don't know. But there are people out there and they do want to talk about it. So I say start a conversation. You might be surprised at how many people actually are 
at least semi awake to where this world is going so that's that let me know in the comments i'm about ready to run out of time here so god bless